This convection currents lesson is presented by Kessler Science. The essential questions you will be able to answer afterwards are, how does the sun's energy drive convection within the atmosphere and oceans producing winds and ocean currents? Convection currents are the heat energy transfer between two parts of a fluid of different temperatures. When hot, hot fluid rise and cold fluid sink occurs in the atmosphere, as in the diagram you see here, hot rises, cool sinks, occurs in oceans, and also occurs in the planetary mantles. So the layers of the earth, the big layer, the mantle, we have convection currents. It can also occur in your soup when you're cooking on the stove. Hot rises, cool sinks. Here's a diagram of the Earth's mantle. Convection currents flow within the mantle. It causes the tectonic plates to move. You'll learn more about that when we get to that teak. Less dense hot magma moves upward. More dense, cooler magma moves downward. Convection currents in Earth's oceans. Convection currents flow within the ocean. Temperature or solar heating and salinity, salinity means the salt content, affects the density of the water creating global currents. More dense water sinks, or the cool water, less dense water rises, or the warmer water. Okay, we're going to skip that part. Convection currents also occur in the Earth's atmosphere. Solar radiation heats the Earth's surface. That heat is transferred to the air by conduction. Air touching the Earth's surface expands and it becomes less dense and rises. The sun heats the ground. That warm air will rise. Convection currents in the Earth's atmosphere. Air cools as it gets higher into the atmosphere. Cool air becomes more dense and sinks. Wind is created as the cool air moves in to replace the warm air. So if you look at the diagram, oh, hold on, let's go back. So get the diagram here. The sun warms the land, which warms the air. So that warm air is going to rise. All right, and then once it cools off, it's going to sink. So these are our currents here. High pressure is as air masses cool, they become more dense and sinks towards the Earth's surface. Low pressure, as the air mass is warm, they become less dense and rises above the Earth's surface. So low pressure is represented by the red L, that's the warmer air. High pressure is represented by a blue H, that's the cooler air. So convection currents also produces winds. The pressure difference between a high pressure area and its low pressure surroundings cause a wind to develop. It flows from higher to lower pressure. Earth's atmospheric convection currents causes global winds, as you see in diagram A, Local breezes, as you see in diagram B, cyclones, and hurricanes and typhoons, as you see in diagram C. We also get thunderstorms from convection currents. So let's look at the local breezes. 
There are two types. We're going to talk about sea breeze first. Sea breezes are gentle winds that flow from the cool air over the water. All right, cool air again, high pressure, towards the warm air over the land. Warm air, low pressure. During the day, solar radiation heats the land more quickly than the water. So the land is warmer in the day. The sea is cooler during the daytime. The second type, the sea breeze, or excuse me, land breeze, The breeze that flows form the cool air above the land. Okay, so now we have cool air or high pressure over the land towards the warmer air above the water or the low pressure. This is caused by land cooling more quickly than water in the evening time. So at night, the sea is warmer than the land. All right, so now, can you recognize that the sun provides the energy that drives convections within the atmosphere and oceans, producing winds and ocean currents? So when you're outside, just think about these things. 